Entrance hymn number 112, 112, enter his gates. Enter his gates with thanksgiving in your hands. Enter his courts with praise. Enter his gates with thanksgiving in your hands. For he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Jesus has made me glad. Enter his courts with thanksgiving in your hands. For he has made Now this Mass we shall be praying for all your personal intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that being rightly conformed to the Paschal Mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Elders decided to choose delegates to send to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The whole church concurred with this. They chose Judas, known as Barsabas, and Silas, both leading men in the Brotherhood, and gave them this letter to take with them. The Apostles and Elders your brothers send greetings to the brothers of pagan birth in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia. We hear that some of our members have disturbed you with their demands and have unsettled your minds. They acted without any authority from us, and so we have decided unanimously to elect delegates and to send them to you with Barnabas and Paul. Men we highly respect, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Accordingly, we are sending you Judas and Silas, who will confirm by word of mouth what we have written in this letter. It has been decided by the Holy Spirit and by ourselves not to saddle you with any burdens beyond these essentials. You are, to obtain, you are to abstain from food sacrificed to idols, from blood, from the meat of strangled animals, and from fornication. Avoid these, and you will do what is right. Farewell. The party left and went down to Antioch, 
where they summoned the whole community and delivered the letter. The community read it and were delighted with the encouragement it gave them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response is, I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake my soul, awake lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. Our response? I will thank you, Lord, among all the peoples. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Praise you among the nations. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. Our response? I will thank you, Lord, among all the peoples. The sheep that belong to me listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. The Lord be with you and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants anymore because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends, because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my father. You did not choose me. No, I chose you and I commissioned you to go out to bear fruit, fruit that will last. And then the father will give you anything you ask him in my name. What I command you is to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Love one another. Wow. Such a challenging mandate that the Lord puts before each one of us today. What kind of a love is the Lord talking about? First of all, it's an unconditional love. No strings attached. Secondly, it's a love that never comes to an end. In other words, it's a love that is infinite. And third, once we have chosen to love, this love is forever. There is no U-turn, there is no turning back. But now comes the greater challenge that Jesus puts to us. What kind of a love that he insists on? He goes on to say, a man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. He didn't just say this, but he did it out of his love for a sinful humanity. He was ready to lay down his own life for each one of us because we are our friends, his friends. And if we've been chosen to be in the bracket of his friends, then he tells us to love as he did. Does that mean that we have to die for the person that we love? What kind of a death is Jesus talking about? A death to an old self so that we can live a new life. A death to our old ways.
so that we can become the kind of person Jesus wants us to be. This is the kind of death that Jesus invites us to. A self-denial so that we can put the other and the other's needs before our own. A tough statement from the Lord today. Indeed a challenge to each one of us. Difficult but not impossible. I pray that each one of us truly love as Jesus himself has loved us. Hymn number 48, 4, 8, at this time of giving. At this time of giving, happy now we bring gifts that have been given by a God and King. Here is the bread of pain. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may Lord, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands with the praise, the praise and glory of, glory of his name, name for, for our good, good, good of all this holy church. church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time above all to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen, amen. the peace of the lord be with you always and with, with your, your spirit. spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take, take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Hymn number 401, 401. This is my commandment. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Kind feels no envy. Charity bears up to the end. Charity is weak, seeking not its own. Charity has faith to the end. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. This is my commandment. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray for a quick end to the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayer we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Hymn number 449, 449. What thanks, O Lord. So Lord, can I render thee for all the gifts thou hast shot on me? Each day I sing of thy praise and glory. See you. 